The final part for finding the equation of a line is looking at um, two points and working out the equation from those. So we've got two points A and B on a straight line and we can use that information to find out the equation of this line. Um, and you need two points. If you only got one point, you need some other information. Um, so what you would need to do is first work out your uh, gradient. So y2 take y1 over x2 take x1. So work that one out first. And then your second step is to use your gradient point form y take y1 equals m x take x1. So find the gradient, use your point gradient form and use the m that you've found in the first step and then solve for your equation. So we're going to have a look at example 12. Oops. Now, example 12, we've got the two points 1 and minus 2 and 3, 2. So working out the gradients between them, uh, so we'll have 2 take minus 2 over 3 take 1 and then 2 take negative 2 becomes 2 plus 2 so we get 4 3 take 1 we get 2 so we can say m is equal to 2 now using our gradient point form Uh, we can say y take y1, which was minus 2, equals 2x take x1, which was 1. y take negative 2 becomes plus 2. And if we expand our brackets, we get 2x take 2. And then just subtracting 2 from the y, we get 2x take 4. So our equation is y equals 2x take 4. And then from there, we can sketch our graph. Uh, actually, it'll be about there. So minus 4 is down here. Um, and then from there, we go across by 1, up by 2. So we end up at uh, 1 minus 2. And then we can sketch our line between the two points there. All right, so that's uh, finding the equation between two points. Uh, we'll have a look at example 13. So find the equation of the straight line with y-intercept. So we know the y-intercept is minus 3 and passes through the point 1, 10. So if we've got y intercept of minus 3, this is actually a hidden coordinate because the x value must be 0. So it actually is 0 minus 3. And then just like our previous example, we've got our gradient uh, y2 of 10, y1 of minus 3 over 1 take 0 minus minus becomes positive so we end up with 10 plus 3 and then if that was divided by 1 it's just 13. Uh, so we can now say y equals if we talk about our mx plus c we've got y equals 13x plus c. Now c is the y-intercept which is given in the original part of the question so it's actually 13x take um, oops, take 3 would be our solution there. So sometimes you don't need to do all of the working out, it just takes a little bit of thinking and to identify that we've already given the y-intercept. So the next part is talking about two intercepts. Uh, so sometimes you're given two points on the graph and sometimes those points are a special case when uh, they are the intercepts themselves. So let's say we've got uh, 
So this is example 14. So we've got the straight line here. We've got uh, point A at 4 and point B at 2. So essentially what we've got is the coordinates um, 0, 4 and 2, 0. So to work out the gradient, uh, we can say 0 take 4 divided by 2 take 0, which is minus 4 divide 2. So we get minus 2. And from there, uh, we can say our y take y1 equals m x take x1, so we'll have y take y1, which will be 4, equals minus 2 x take x1, which is 0, so we get y take 4 equals minus 2x, and then if we add 4 to both sides, minus 2x plus 4. So sometimes the two points are given as, um, as the intercepts, so pretty much just work out the same uh, way as we have been.